Hi, everyone. This is the second of three mini lectures uh, talking about Phanerozoic climate. I want to emphasize that uh, the details of all these detailed time periods, the names, Silurian, Devonian, all those sorts of things, um, uh, I don't expect you to memorize, um, but my goal is to give you a broad brush history of uh, life and climate and how they changed over the course of uh, the last 550 million years. So I've been talking about uh, the complexity of ocean life um, in the period after the Cambrian explosion and for a million, 100 million, 200 million years after that. But that was doomed to end, uh, as all things are, uh, in a rather dramatic event, which we'll talk about in a moment, uh, called the end Permian mass extinction. You're probably familiar with the extinction of the dinosaurs, um, but there are a number of mass extinctions that have occurred over the course of uh, that? Oh, uh, over the course of Earth's history, um, and the end of the dinosaurs is barely a blip compared to many of the things that have happened in Earth's past. So this graph shows the number of sort of major categories of life um, that occurred uh, over time. So you can see the ramp up and the diversification of, you know, different kinds of life forms during the Cambrian, uh, and then the continued diversification and increasing complexity of ecosystems and different kinds of life in the ocean uh, through the next hundred or so million years. Uh, there were uh, a series of interesting extinctions along the way in which substantial chunks of major categories of life died out and were eventually replaced. Um, uh, for context here, uh, you are right at the end of this. There's another mass extinction going on now due to us, but uh, it doesn't show up on this graph. The end of the dinosaurs is this little blip right here. It's only the most recent, and it's by no means the most significant of a series of five or six, depending on how you count, uh, mass extinctions that have happened since the evolution of complex life. Uh, another way of viewing this is not by looking at families, which are large categories of organisms, but genera, which are much smaller categories. Um, uh, so, uh, here you see, uh, starting at the Cambrian explosion, diversification of life, a dieback, diversification, dieback, dieback, a big dieback here, uh, which is the so focus of our, our efforts. Uh, and here, between Cret and Tert, is the end of the dinosaurs. So, um, I'm not going to talk about all of these. Uh, they all have fascinating climate histories, and I hope that some of you are writing your essays about, for example, the Ordovician uh, mass extinction or something like that, but I'm not going to talk about it. Um, just to give you a sense, uh, by far the most significant of these was one that happened about 250 million years ago, uh, right at the end of what's called the Permian period. All right. Um, many major groups of organisms, including the well-known trilobites and some less known, well-known things, crinoids, brachiopods, which look like clams but totally aren't. It's a convergent evolution thing. Um, a certain type of very common coral. Uh, major categories of life all went extinct. In fact, 95% of all the ocean animal species went extinct right at this particular time period. This event was far more catastrophic than the end of the dinosaurs. Um, and as we'll talk about later, we're pretty sure we know what caused the end of the dinosaurs. But what caused this extinction at the end of the Permian? We're still not sure. There are a bunch of interesting hypotheses, and they all revolve around global climate change. One of the, uh, there was a big ice age during this time. Uh, there are changes in the motions of the continents, which might affect ocean circulation, maybe causing a loss of oxygen in the ocean. Probably the leading uh, hypothesis at this point, 
uh, is a huge, gigantic volcanic eruption in Siberia that over the course of millions of years covered an area bigger than the United States with miles of lava, uh, causing huge increases in greenhouse gases and probably toxic chemicals and changes in ocean, uh, atmosphere, uh, ocean chemistry that may have doomed these life forms. Some people think it might have been due to a giant meteorite strike, um, but we're still, still working this out. All right, so the Permian mass extinction was the big one, sometimes called the Great Dying, um, and by far the worst extinction that life has uh, ever known. So after that, uh, we have, of course, the time of the dinosaurs, which is gonna be the topic of my final section of this lecture. If I can stop the recording, that'd be nice.